All right, so not a complete success, but I did start the truck. And if you notice, I, I, I didn't mention this earlier, but I added a potentiometer to adjust my crank time. And uh, that came in kind of handy. Um, I believe I fundamentally misunderstand how a vehicle works. Um, so I'm going to bone up on that stuff. And uh, just try to figure out what exactly I was doing wrong. But... As you can see here, I mean, I, I, on my other video, you've seen the vehicle started. So these MOSFETs are doing their job. They never got hot. None of the wires got hot. I mean, it was all, and I ran the entire microcontroller, the whole everything off the 9-volt battery. Just no issues. Everything worked great. It was just it's, it's my circuitry and my programming uh, that is the problem. So I will just get better. Right? That's what they say. You just keep on keeping on um, I set a goal to start my truck with push buttons this evening and uh, I accomplished that so I do not feel bad at all um, feel free to comment on anything ask me any questions uh, I probably won't know the answer but I'll do the best I can and uh, I'll try to make all the source that I do available and uh, these are all real simple circuits I actually took these MOSFETs out of a uh, out of a another board that I found you can see there's still one MOSFET there and uh, and these two are gone those are the ones I pulled out of there I racked my brain all day if I, how I was gonna do it and then there was this arrow board that broke down and this was the control for it this is actually a, a Philips microcontroller believe it or not I don't know if it's any good for anything, but I have it. And I can figure I can take off these switches and do some neat stuff with them with Arduino. Just new inputs. Love new inputs. So, uh, alright, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to comment. Thank you.